For almost 35 years, this has been my white whale. Let's go back 35 years. Let's go to when I was 10, 11 years old. When I, you know, Star Wars was still big, more or less new, nothing about collectors or anything. I was just a kid t looking through the Kenner uh, product uh, guides that they come with with every single Star Wars toy. So I was flipping through one that came with uh, my Imperial shuttle. Came across a picture of from the movie with the, featuring the Tatooine skiff. Described what the toy did. I'm like, I gotta have this. But I lived in Syracuse, New York, so I never saw the light of day. Never saw it. Never saw it till say the mid '90s, or late '90s, when I was going to say this uh, older toy store, you know, collectible toy store, and I saw the Tatooine Skiff. I didn't think they ever made one, and I saw it was going for 200 bucks. Of course, I didn't buy it. I've seen it at it be reissued for at Target for like say close to 100 bucks because you know I'm sure I'm fun, so I didn't buy it. Never bought. It, never bought. It. Today that changes. Today I bought it. I went to Walmart, found this for 40 bucks. This is their, uh, the vintage collection Tatooine Skiff. I can't wait to review this because, you know, this is a long, long time coming. I, you know, I, it won't live up to the hype, but, you know, it's something I needed in my collection. It's something I wanted. I'm so happy to have it. And, you know, let's get on the review already. Now, when I first heard this was coming out, I thought, you oh, know, that would be nice to have, but, you know, I'm probably not going to find it in New Hampshire because I never do. And when I saw this at the Walmart last week, I was filled with instant regret because I have given away 99% of my Star Wars collection, so I don't have any figures from this scene that I can work with it. I do have figures, we'll uh, do some action features, but, like, you know, it's not going to be that specific Han Solo. We might have a Chewbacca, though, that's a plus, so... Anyways, let's talk about the box. The box is a thing of beauty. It's definitely a trip back to your childhood. It's made by Hasbro, but they slapped the Kenner name on it. So, you know, it you know, feels like you're 10, 11 years old again. Figures not included, of course. On the top, you have, like, some of the Ashen figures. That's pretty cool. Shows uh, one part where you can uh, have the pilots pilot the ship. You can have the, the extend gangplank. And you can dangle a figure from the skiff. That side, you have a couple of other uh, things. Uh, remove panels, reveal ship details. On this side, the uh, drawers can turn, and uh, you can sort of figure accessories. And there's stuff on the bottom, too. Display, skiff on a case, tilt to chain position, swap roll to show damage. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And on the top, you have uh, stuff we've already gone over. On the back, you have the same picture that's on the front. Just a few more uh, stuff on the bottom there. So, and the vintage collection right in the corner. So that's a cool looking box. Let's see what's inside the box, see what we did put together to make the skiff work, shall we? All right, so let's take a look at everything that comes in the box. So, right off the base looks very cool. I'm not quite sure if uh, this is a the original base from the toy if you guys have the original toy let me know if it's that's what it is but or just a repaint i don't know has a nice retro looking uh instruction sheet so we're going to follow that we put it together they go bag of parts have uh the uh the fins for the back and you have a nice plastic base of to put it on so that's very cool so i'm going to initiate a time lapse we're going to put it together really fast and we're going to start now
All right, so we have the skiff out of the package looking fantastic. I gotta say, it looks awesome. Um, it, it might be you know, screen, screen accurate. I kind of remember the other skiffs being a little bit smaller, but who knows, maybe I might get one down the line just for comparison's sake, but very cool looking. I love all the weathering on it. I love, you know, the damage it takes. Very cool. Um, love the uh, action features. Um, I do kind of, you know, I think that the, the older ones that have like action features, features like, you know, a uh, trap door or whatever, but you can have the fall away uh, railing, so that's pretty cool. You have uh, turning on the inside. This can come out. That can come out. This can come out right here, get my hand in the way of the camera, so that's pretty cool. So you can see a lot of damage. You can turn it to the side like that and put the uh, other, th the other, uh, I'm gonna try to get it on there, show some damage, and that one stays a lot better. And maybe show a Lando trying to pull on. We'll uh, put some figures on right now and see how they look. All right, so. All right, so let's uh, take a look with some figures on, see how it looks. How does it look to you guys? Do you like it? Look pretty cool. Is it in scale? Well, I'm gonna uh, do some shopping uh, on Amazon later in the week and try to get some more some figures that are in line with the skiff, so it should look cooler, should be an awesome display. See how it goes. I'd love to see if I can find a Sarlacc. That'd be awesome. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty damn cool to me. I really dig this thing a lot. Just, you know, I'm kind of geeking out over it. I love the fact you have the space where you can actually turn the uh, skiff on its side, more or less. Turn to that side. Just make it look like it's damaged or whatever. Like the scene in Return of the Jedi when he's they're hanging over or whatever. I love the fact you can, you know, add battle damage. You can take off these panels. And just, you know... Not only use them for storage, but look like give that they've had laser blasts. I didn't mention before that they have these little uh, holes and clamps for uh, skiff guards uh, staff, so that's pretty cool. And I didn't mention the uh, plank action can go can uh, go in and out, so that's awesome. Did I say I love the fact that it's on a base and it looks like it's flying? That's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, the only drawback I might have, it is very slight, is that there are no pegs to put the figures on. I get that's an adult collectible, so it doesn't really have much play value, but it's there to look, so it's fantastic looking. I'm looking forward to going on Amazon and uh, finding, like, some skiff guard figures, uh, Tatooine Luke. I'm probably going to get that Jabba playset with uh, Han Solo, so that's going to be pretty cool. But, yeah, this is a... This is, you know, 30 years of pining and not and saying I don't have enough money and I can't get it. This is taking the gun and pulling the trigger and buying it and saying I gotta have it. And I'm happy I have it. I mean, I might get another skiff just to compare down the line, but we'll see how it goes. But this one is awesome. I dig it a lot. Thank you guys for watching and dealing with my uh, nerding out. If you uh, like this video, want to see some more Star Wars related stuff, let me know in the comments below. I might go out and, and uh, do some Star Wars hunting. I don't know. Might get back into it. But that's it for this video. This is a tattooing skiff. This is, you know, a long time coming. As I said, you know, 30 years of pining and wanting this. And I'm so glad I have it. Now I'm just going to have to make it more screen, screen quality and give it a fantastic display. So that's it for today's review. Thank you so much. If you like this video, I gotta have you hit that like button. You guys need to hit that like button. Let me know if you have this skiff, you have another skiff, how they compare. If you want this skiff, let me know that too. It's just, wow. Uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. My friend Jason would appreciate it too. He does videos for the channel. I'm looking forward to seeing if he can get some Star Wars reviews on. That'd be pretty cool. Some figure reviews, toy reviews, whatever. 
Well, that's it for this review. Thank you again. As always, I won't stop saying. I don't know about him. He might stop saying it. But as for me, thank you so much. See you next time in the Nerd Room. But we'll have some more reviews. Maybe some more uh, toy hunts. Maybe some boxing unboxings. Maybe some blind boxes. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. Thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.